Hello everyone. Um, on the behalf of my team, uh, we are glad to have this opportunity to present our project in this forum. Uh, thank you to all of you, uh, wherever you are, for taking the time to attend this uh, presentation. Before I go into the details of the project, I would like to just introduce my team. Uh, Shanka and myself, uh, we are basically the main users of the output of this project. Chunon and Melanie, uh, they take care of the data. They ensure that the data is both uh, relevant as well as accurate. Uh, Ryan, who is our data scientist, is the one that pulls everything together. Before we understand the relevancy of uh, Project Crystal Ball, it's important for us to take a step back and really understand what's really happening uh, in the industry. Over here in UOB Asset Management, we believe that the wealth management space in Asia Pacific is an important growth area. The reason why is because it has the fastest growing working population as well as a booming middle class. We believe that the application of AI, again with the relevant data, will not only allow us to contribute positively in both matching uh, the right solutions to the needs of the clients, it would enable us to do it very quickly. The current understanding of what is good for the client is limited. As conventional wisdom would suggest, best performing funds are the best funds for our clients. Um, we don't believe that this is true. And the reason why we say this is because there are different markets in Asia Pacific. As with the different markets, there are differing wealth cycles and then resulting in differing investment demands. What we hope to achieve with Project Crystal Ball is really to predict the retail fund flows in Singapore by determining and understanding its key client needs using both quantitative and qualitative data. And we do have the intention of trying to roll this out across uh, our regional uh, distribution network. So in, in, in general, we, we just want to find answers to the following questions. When should we promote the right solutions for our clients? How do we match these solutions to different clients? And how should we design a solution to meet future needs of our clients? On the data front, the key challenge for us is really the breadth of data that's available. So essentially, how do we go about collecting the data, discover the usefulness of each data sets, and essentially harnessing the predictive ability of the whole data set as a whole. We have identified hundreds of input factors and categorized them into five broad categories ranging from your traditional recent performance statistics, fund characteristics and market outlook, to economic indicators uh, and unstructured data sources such as market sentiments and news. So what we're trying to do here really is to create a predictive model that we can use to develop key solutions for our clients in Singapore. So ultimately, what we want to do is to really address the key business objective that we have set out in the beginning and hopefully be able to create a more predictive ability for us to do our business. Our solution takes data from our five broad categories and trains a model that best describes this data. This then becomes the model that is set in motion to read in the current day parameters through a user-friendly interface. The AI model deciphers a huge chunk of market indicators and forecasts the output, ranked and convenient for business users to digest and drive decisions for clients' needs. So from a vast pool of information, the AI predictive model is able to process and present information that allows us to quickly achieve the ability to make better informed decisions to meet the investment needs of clients anytime. With the AI ML model, we will also be able to harness the ability of using an optimizer built off this crystal ball model to select and optimize certain features in order to tailor solutions, for example, to reach a wider net of clients from bespoke, institutional to retail. In addition to the previous use case, we can also make use of the crystal ball model to understand the various parameters that is impacting the fund flows. Here, we have made use of the SHAP technique that is able to accurately map the prediction output to the various inputs of the model. For example, we are able to find out for a certain product, there are different economic conditions that could impact the fund flows. The information is actually well known and observed by veterans of the industry. However, with Crystal Ball, we are able to have a clearer and quantitative visualization of the factors down to the numerical inflection point where the fund flow was impacted. 
UOB Asset Management, with the help of various business units, has successfully developed the solution, which is Crystal Ball, and also the data pipeline, transforming the raw data inputs into the predictive and analytics output as described in the use cases to meet the business objectives. The business users will be able to view the outputs and the visualizations from dashboards and work through us to build better solutions and products for our customers. UOB Asset Management is a wholly owned subsidiary of UOB. Uh, we have more than 30 years of investment experience and clients in nine major markets in Asia. In these markets, we have more than 500 million in the rising middle class. Our clients in these markets are unique in needs and demands. So how do we do right to our clients? First is that the application of AI will be very critical in the world today. It's a rapidly changing world, a rapidly digitizing world, and a world that is going to be very different from the impact of pandemic. We believe we can do so by using data, structured and unstructured, gathering the data, understanding it, and critically using it to help our clients, and that's the mission of the Crystal Ball Project. We believe that we have the foundation, and we at UOBAM want to be part of this future of Asia and to understand their wealth management needs.